You know, I don't like to toot my own horn, but it seems like every other week now, people are coming out and confirming all of the things that I like to talk about on this channel on a weekly basis. And now we have a major media outlet calling out the garbage tier website that is Rotten Tomatoes for what it truly is. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Whenever I make a video making fun of Rotten Tomatoes scores and reviews, there's always going to be some white knight in the comments section who says, well, you don't like it just because they have a different opinion than you. Now, anyone who knows me or has actually had a conversation with me or has actually taken the time to understand what I'm saying in my videos without reacting emotionally, those people will tell you that I have no problem having a conversation with someone who has a legitimate different opinion than my own. I actually welcome it. Come on, do it, do it! What I do not accept, however, are disingenuous opinions, short-sighted opinions, and opinions that are fueled by a critic's own personal agenda. And to me, Rotten Tomatoes is filled with those types of opinions and I do not respect that. Some may say that Rotten Tomatoes is irrelevant now and that nobody really pays attention to a Rotten Tomatoes score. And I agree with that to an extent, but the fact still remains that movies are advertised and promoted using a Rotten Tomatoes score, still. And that misleading score could influence general audiences to see or not see a film, and to me that's not right. If you take into consideration how flawed this system actually is. No. Don't like that. My goal with this channel is not only to preserve cinema by demanding better for it, but I also want to preserve healthy film discussion and film criticism. Truth be told, there was a time when I couldn't get valid and unbiased criticism from anyone on YouTube about a film. So in response to that, I decided to be part of the solution and start my own channel. And that, my friends, is the genesis of everything that I do here. Now, I know it's not enough for me or you to recognize how damaging and misleading a site like Rotten Tomatoes can be. In order for real change to happen, a lot of people need to take the blinders off and start calling things out when they see it, when it's necessary. You, you're okay. This one, real f***ing ugly. So I came across this article from Vulture that's titled The Decomposition of Rotten Tomatoes. The most overrated metric in movies is erratic, reductive, and easily hacked, and yet Hollywood is in its grip. I like the way this is starting off already. The article begins by telling a story of how a Daisy Ridley-led retelling of Hamlet in 2018 scored a 46% on Rotten Tomatoes initially. Soon after that, the movie publicity company called Bunker 15 quickly realized that a Rotten Tomatoes score is never final, and they took action. As this was a film that they represented, and the film needed all the help it could get without a domestic distributor as of yet. Apparently, this company pays more obscure critics, not from large publications, a fee of $50 or more per review. The idea is to get more input from different critics, as the critics who already reviewed the film were quote-unquote too harsh. These are actual quotes from an actual email sent by a Bunker 15 employee. Apparently not long after, a critic responded to this email asking what would happen if they hated the film. And Bunker 15 responded that journalists are free to write whatever they want, but that the quote, super nice ones often agree to not publish bad reviews on their websites, but instead quarantine them on a smaller blog that Rotten Tomatoes will never see and thus not affect the film's tomato score in a negative way. This, my friends, is the very definition of manipulating a flawed system. You disloyal fool ass made punk. There were also claims that one of these obscure critics who gave the film a negative review was encouraged to change it by Bunker 15. After all of this took place, by the next month the film's score flipped to a 62% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it acquired a distributor, IFC Films, for its US release. Filmmaker Paul Schrader was quoted in the article saying studios didn't invent Rotten Tomatoes, and most of them don't like it. But the system is broken, audiences are dumber, normal people don't go through reviews like they used to, Rotten Tomatoes is something the studios can game or exploit, so they do. Man, I'm tired of being right. 
We are a long way removed from the days of Siskel and Ebert when we could be confident that two thumbs up or two thumbs down might actually mean something. How can anyone sit here after hearing what I just read and not question a Rotten Tomatoes score from here on out? Now, I understand that there are some weak-minded individuals out there who like Rotten Tomatoes because it validates their opinions on shitty movies. But to the rest of you, the ones with independent thought, you're going to tell me that you don't think for a second that a larger studio like Disney, let's say, aren't doing the same things on a bigger scale that Bunker 15 was able to pull off with this independent film? You think this could be a solid explanation for why mediocre and sometimes outright garbage films receive high scores on Rotten Tomatoes? That makes sense. Or are we still going to play dumb and chalk it up to, well, everyone just has a different opinion? Please stop. Nobody is buying that bullshit anymore. Bullshit. I think it's absolutely tragic that more people aren't talking about this. But then again, a lot of people are probably benefiting from some of these under-the-table perks that these studios are handing out. And they use those perks to build their platform, so why would they speak out? It's easier and more beneficial to them to tell everyone exactly what they want to hear. You know, things like this is the best MCU film since the last one, or this is the best DC film since The Dark Knight. Things we've heard a thousand times before. Just disingenuous opinions after disingenuous opinions with no real relief in sight. And that's because most people aren't going to hold them accountable for their shady tactics. So I strongly suggest that you wake the f up. Do you know how many people come to my videos on a weekly basis to tell me that I'm in the minority because the Rotten Tomato score says that this movie is good? They're trying to discredit me with ridiculous reviews that most likely aren't even legit. If being in the minority means that I'm not a part of this lying culture and means that I'm an advocate for independent thought, then being in the minority is exactly where I belong. Do you know how many movies were catapulted to undeserved success because of Rotten Tomatoes? Do you know how many movies were undeservedly deemed a failure because of what some clown on Rotten Tomatoes said about it? It's disgusting because it's damaging to film, to artistic integrity, and to film criticism as a whole. Martin Scorsese was once quoted as saying Rotten Tomatoes reduces the director to quote, a content manufacturer and the viewer to a unadventurous consumer. And I couldn't agree more. Truthfully, sites like Rotten Tomatoes have made the audience less intelligent because they are less likely to take a chance on unique films. Why would we go and take a chance on this movie when Rotten Tomatoes is telling us to go and watch the latest superhero movie? I mean, just look at the reviews. It's fun. It's bright. It's colorful. It's going to give me all the cameos and Easter eggs I want to appease my need for instant gratification. Again, telling audiences exactly what they want to hear, but not necessarily what they need to hear. Ultimately, if you're going to have lasting change in anything, you're really talking about just raising your standards. I'm going to have to give props to Vulture for being one of the few media outlets to finally speak on this. I mean, we all knew it was happening anyway, but now we have some solid proof, and that is reassuring. The next step is to eradicate Rotten Tomatoes from film culture altogether so we can get back to a place where film criticism actually means something again. Y'all be cool. Right on.